Welcome to Stand Up Diaries, entry 36, and this one's called Underdog vs. Expectations. And right now, I am definitely the underdog in the comedy world. You know, you're new, and you haven't really been given too many opportunities to really prove yourself. So, when you go out to, to shows, to open mics, nobody's expecting you to just tear the house down at this point. Which, I mean, has a good and bad. You know, what's good about that is that it really gives you a lot of time to try to grow and flourish, and you kind of stretch yourself a little bit. You're, you're being a... Uh, you're being inventive and you know you're trying out a lot of different styles of humor you're trying to find your voice so it really gives you room to play around a little bit with the jokes that you're trying to say and then as soon as you know you kind of have proven yourself a little bit more say you're touring for a uh, yuck yucks which is a big canadian comedy club your expectation is definitely to deliver you know maybe at the end of your performance there's audience members that fill out a survey and say how good the show was and you know your entire living is, is garnered from being a stand-up comedian so you have a lot of pressure on yourself so i feel like sometimes people can get a little bit stuck in those zones of security because they just want to make sure that they're delivering a product that they know is going to work and they might not stretch themselves as much as they would if they were still considered an underdog. So I am an underdog now, it is interesting, but I do feel like I'm growing a lot as a comedian. I'm writing a lot of new material, I'm trying out a lot of new jokes all the time, and I'm not expected to do amazing. And then if ever I have some, you know, open mics or some performances where I really do well, you know, it's like, oh, who is that? Or, oh, that was good, or, you know, that was better than expected, which is kind of nice because it still allows me that safety and security of, of experimenting a lot with my comedy and that will definitely be something I'll have to try to balance out once I start improving and getting to a level where you're getting paid and they expect you to deliver a grade A product. Anyways, this has been your next edition of Stand Up Diaries. I have been Michelle Christine and this is Maple the Lovebird. Mwah.